What's going on y'all so we are out here today as y'all saw we just took the ski out here we are on the beach and we're gonna get ready to cast out throw some lines out right there and I'm gonna try to catch some fish I'm gonna cook them here on the beach should be a really really good day y'all stay tuned see if we can find some fish I will be doing a full walkthrough of the jet ski I know it's the first time y'all have seen it here on the channel we will be doing a walkthrough later on in another video i will talk more about that and kind of what we're going to be doing with this ski on the channel here but i got a couple of rod and reels set up i think i'm gonna start off throwing a popping cork with a voodoo shrimp and uh, yeah we're just gonna work the beach see what we catch the water is absolutely beautiful out here today even if we don't catch anything it's going to be a great day. We do have some storms that are supposed to be showing up later on. Hopefully that doesn't affect us. Y'all look at this water right here. I mean, just crystal clear, beautiful water. We just need to find us some fish. And it's going to be a great day, y'all. Oh, Stingray coming in right here. Got to look out for them guys. Cannot be getting whacked by a Stingray today. We got a ton of bait right in this area right here and I just saw a massive bull in shallow. Could be a good sign. Should be some fish here. There's definitely bait here. Alright, so no love on the popping court. So we're going to go back over there with a hoodwink. This is our nuke juice color. Give that a shot. See if we can pick up something on it. There he is. There's a fish. Got him on the hoodwink. Feels decent. I know it knocked the fire out of it. Oh, good trout. Good trout. Come here. Jizz had to make a swap on the sand. Boom. Look at that fish, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Nice, fat, beautiful trout right there. Look at that fish on the newt juice hoodwink get some sand off of you baby girl beautiful fish man all right girl well i appreciate the bite we are going to be eating this one for lunch so i'm gonna walk it down put it in the cooler probably be the only one that we keep we'll cook it a little bit later on and i'm just gonna keep on fishing around this area oh i got nailed i got nailed right there come on come on back for it There he is. There he is. That's another good one. Oh, good trout. They're all over this hoodwink this morning. That's a better one than the one before. Solid fish right there. <laughs> Buddy, there are some good fish out here today. Man, what a blast. Come here. Calm down. Just a clean, clean trout. That's a male too. It's about an 18, 19 inch male right there. Awesome fish. Very, very clean fish too. If y'all didn't know, speckled trout are one of my favorite fish to target. Just love them. Bye bye. Whoo! Let's go. You know, it's crazy this morning, just looking at the conditions, the clean water, figured that popping cork would just kind of call them in and I have a good realistic voodoo shrimp waiting on them and they would just jump all over it. But that really wasn't the case. And this nuke juice hoodwink is a very natural color. It looks great right there, bouncing around on the sand, as y'all can see. And it is, uh, definitely been the deal this morning very surprising though i mean don't get me wrong the hoodwink catches a ton of fish but i just figured that that popping cork would be the deal hey y'all comment below 
what is y'all's favorite lure to uh, throw off the beach? If y'all were out here with me right now, what's the one lure you would tie on and throw for these speckled trout? I'm really, really curious to see what y'all would throw out here in these types of conditions. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm looking for these bait pods to kind of blow up. That's letting me know where the fish are, but I'm just working this lure fluttering it up trying to keep it off the bottom we're in about four foot of water right off the beach here and it gets deep it's about eight foot out there and i want to keep that lure kind of midways if it's eight foot i want to keep it four if it's four i want to keep it at two try to cover most of that water column as i can picking it up and just letting it fall back down so far that's what's gotten the strikes we're on biggin that's a good one swimming at me swimming at me that's a good feeling fish is it another trout I think it is whoo she's taking off big trout another good trout come here come here dude they are so fat right now so fat look at that doggone trout oh my goodness Woo! hold on hold on got some games going on with this girl oh my goodness look at that fat trout tell me she ain't ready to lay some eggs holy moly all right all right let me get the hook out of you girl I'm telling y'all if y'all are not throwing the hoodwink y'all gotta pick these up i'm gonna link them down in the description they absolutely catch fish, and in this case, they're catching doggone good ones. Tanks. Bye-bye. Appreciate the fight, girl. See you next time. Boom! Let's go, y'all. What a day. What a doggone day. There we go. Come here another trout not feeling quite as big at least not yet kind of swimming towards me that one bit it on the drop yeah that's another speckled trout the smallest one of the day still a keeper though but we already got our fish in the box easy release bye bye see you dude all right man threw out there as soon as that lure hit the bottom he just smoked it we're out here right now in mid-April, and this is the time of the year where the trout come out on the sand flats to spawn out, lay their eggs, and they're looking for a very high salinity, clean, smooth, shallow bottom, which is what we got right here. Typically in water less than six feet, and uh, we got direct saltwater influence right here no fresh water at all nice clear clean bottom and that's why these fish are here there he goes that's a better one that's a decent fish staying down coming at me oh yeah that's not a bad one at all Ooh, she's got a, some tiny pools to her. Ah, that's a little guy. Man, oh, I hooked him funny, that's why. Man, come on. I had you hooked up under the chin. Well, maybe not. I thought it was. Crazy. <laughs> that little dude had some pools on me. See you, dude. Well, y'all check it out. If y'all like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 40,000 subscribers this year and I need all of y'all's help to do that. But we got some awesome, unique content plan. A lot of stuff going on. Flounder fishing, redfish, speckled trout, some solo camping trips, some more beach trips. A lot of stuff planned in the future. So hit that subscribe button, the notification bell as well, to make sure y'all get to see all of this content. 
So the setup that I'm using today, I just have a seven foot medium fast rod right here with an Abu Garcia Zeta reel, awesome little reel actually. And I'm running 20 pound uh, Power Pro Super Slick and I got 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, quarter ounce jig head. I already talked about the Southern Salt Hoodwink Nuke Juice color. That's pretty much all we're using out here. This is a setup you can use wading out fishing you know anywhere you want to go off of the beach to catch inshore fish this setup right here will definitely be good enough to put any of these fish in the box including big bull reds bigger fish stuff like that all right well i believe the dolphins have showed up to kind of ruin the show here there they go they got them corralled up they're starting to swirl them make circles boom there he goes I think he had something in his mouth when he did it. All right, well, it appears that the dolphins have ran off all of the fish over here. We were on a solid bite. We landed five keeper speckled trout. Crazy. We're one short of a limit. We've only been out here for about an hour. Just an insane morning. We also got this nasty looking thunderhead behind us right here. Don't know what that's going to turn into, but I'm going to get over here, start preparing this fish, and I'm going to cook this fish right here on the beach for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a good recipe. All right, we got our fillets cleaned up right there. That is one speckled trout, one good size speckled trout, probably around 19, 20 inches. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, pull my cooler off the jet ski, find me a piece of driftwood over here, set up the old grill the stove whatever you call it we're cooking with propane today we're gonna set it up out here chow down all right Nothing like having a propane bottle between your legs. Hope that doesn't blow up or something. All right, we're gonna kick it off by slapping some bacon up in there everything's better with bacon grease and this is store-bought bacon grease so really easy to pack up but yeah i don't know put about a tablespoon in there that should do us obviously we got a little downhill going but that's all right i'm gonna go ahead and take this kinder's blackening seasoning go ahead and cover one side of that fish pretty good Oh yeah, the sizzle sells right there, y'all. That that's gonna be good. Coat the other side, pretty good. Done with that. Now I'm gonna chop up some of this lime. Yeah, give her a good squeeze. Fish has to have citrus. Cannot cook fish without some sort of lemon or lime going down on there. There we go. I believe our fish is ready to flip there. Boom. Tell me that don't look good right there. My goodness. Oh yeah. Give this side a good squirt of lime. All right, y'all, and just like that, our fish is done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my heat. Cut that heat all the way off. 
take my little fork right here y'all look how flaky that trout is right there that's how you know it's done when it just flakes and pulls apart just like that in nice little layers all right let's go in for our first little bite for y'all that's killer doesn't get any fresher than that this fish was swimming like 45 minutes an hour ago and uh man i'm gonna go ahead finish the rest of this fish eat it up and uh i'm gonna try to get out of here because y'all see it is looking really really bad we might not make it back to the ramp before the sun before the thunderstorms start to hit us but yeah i'm gonna start this down get the heck out of here i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit that like button get this video to 900 likes if y'all can get this video to 900 likes i will put out more content just like this but yeah subscribe if you haven't already comment with any questions we'll see y'all next time